KNBR Morning Show with Murph and Mac on KNBR 680 and streaming live at KNBR.com. Diving right in, Saturday night, October 23, 2010, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Giants 3, Phillies 2, the bottom of the ninth, Brian Wilson on the mound, here we go. 46,062 on their feet waving towels to the music of the movie Rocky is Brian Wilson who will face the pitch hitter Ross Glowed and then the top of the lineup. Giants lead in this one three to two and Aaron Rowan has gone in to play center field replacing Andres Torres who was not running well some kind of a muscle strain perhaps so he is out and Rowan the former Philly is in here's Ross Glowed left handed hitter Brian Wilson, who has had four saves in this postseason, two in the National League Championship Series, trying to get the biggest save of them all here. If he gets it, the Giants will win the National League pennant. The Phillies, on the other hand, are just one run down. So here is Glow, the Phillies pinch hitter deluxe this year. Wilson to the plate, and a cutter a little bit low, ball one. Glowed hit 281 in the regular season, six home runs in 128 at bats, so he got some power. He had 66 pinch hit at bats with 15 pinch hits, including three pinch hit home runs. Opened up stance. Wilson throws. Swing on the ground ball to second. Sanchez to his right, gets in front of it. Here's the throw to first, in time for the out. And there is one away. That throw a little bit wide to Aubrey Huff who stretched out toward right field to bring it in. Just enough to give us a little bit of a heart yeah, flutter. Yeah, yeah, one of those. We don't appreciate that. Two down left for the Phillies. Two outs remaining. There's Jimmy Rollins, former National League MVP and the leader in that clubhouse. A key figure for the Phillies with two National League pennants. Batting left-handed now, the pitch to him. Outside with a fastball. One ball and no strikes. 96 miles an hour with that one. Placido Polanco is on deck. If they get somebody on base, Chase Utley, the slugging second baseman, would get a chance. Wilson on top. Here it comes. Off the outside again. 2 0. The Giants have Ross in left, Rowan in center, Sherholtz in right. Around the infield, it's Huff at first, Sanchez at second, Renteria at short, Uribe at third, Uribe playing shallow with the speedy Rollins up. 2 0 pitch, swing and a foul. Back to the screen, and the count is 2 and 1. The catcher, Buster Posey, those are the players on the field with Brian Wilson as the Giants try to win the, the National League pennant. One out, nobody on in the last of the ninth. 3 to 2, the Giants are leading. Rollins tonight, one for four. Wilson throws. Swing and a miss on a high fastball. 96 miles an hour and up out of the zone. Got to chase. Doesn't usually happen unless a guy's trying to do something special, trying to hit a home run. He saw the high fastball. He saw it well. Could not keep the top hand on it. Now the stretch. The two and two pitch. Very high. Missing badly with that one. Again at 96 miles an hour, and it's a full count. Jimmy Rollins, two hits in four career at bats against Brian Wilson. He's on top, the high set. 3 2 pitch, swing and a foul back to the screen. Right. High fastball again. Running the hands inside corner at 95. The thing about Rollins is he's not a big guy. He's only 5'8", and he's very quick middle end. Three runs, 13 hits for the Giants. Two runs, eight hits for the Phillies. One out, nobody on. Last of the ninth. Wilson is set. 3-2 pitch. Up and away, and he walked it. And so Jimmy Rollins, the possible tying run, is on base. And Placido Polanco will come up. 
Polanco has walked twice, flight out to shallow left center, and flight out to right center. He is 0 for 2 officially, 5 for 19 in the series. And he's got to keep a close eye on Rollins now, in addition to worrying about Polanco. He's got a good lead. Off on the bag with Jimmy Rollins. Here's the stretch. He's not running the pitch inside. A little too tight with a fastball. Giants have had a hard time throwing strikes to Polanco most of the night. Chase Utley, the powerful left-handed swinger, is on deck. There's a throw to first, and Rollins dives back to the bag, and Wilson almost threw that ball away. Huff had to jump off the bag and lunge to his right to backhand it just above the body of Jimmy Rollins and then jumped over the top of Rollins to avoid a collision. That was a, ended up being a very close play at first. Rollins with his lead. Wilson holding. Rollins not running. The pitch is swung on. There's a slow bouncer to third. Charged by Uribe. He's got it. Into second for one. Back to first. Not in time. But they did well to even make it close. That ball was just a slow chop. And Uribe with a quick feed to Sanchez to get the lead runner. Polanco not nearly the base dealing threat of Jimmy Rollins. And there are two down. But Chase Utley coming up. Well, it was a good play by... Juan Arribe making sure that they got the one out. That's what you needed to get. Yeah, you want to turn the double play, but you cannot somehow botch that play up and get nobody. Chase Utley, two hits in four career at-bats against Brian Wilson. The Phillies are down to their final out. The Giants one out away from the National League pennant. But Chase Utley, one of the great sluggers in the league. Here's the pitch. Low and outside. One ball and no strikes. Utley tonight has hit a double to knock. Uh, that was back in the first inning. He hit it down the right field line. He's been hit by a pitch. Flight out to left center and hit one right back to the pitcher. So he is one for three. Only four for 22 in the series. Huff on the bag with Polanco at first. The outfield is backed up. Here it comes. The backdoor cutter off the outside. It's two and oh. Did not miss by much. Utley had an injury plague season. He had only 16 home runs in 425 at bats. But this is the same Chase Utley who had five home runs in the World Series against the Yankees last year. The outfield is straight away, and they're backed up all the way around. Here's the stretch. The 2 0 pitch. Got the call on the outside. 95 mile an hour fastball for a strike, and it's two and one. That's what Brian Wilson does. I mean, he can shave that outside corner with the best of them and with high velocity. Everybody's standing here at Citizens Bank Park, but most of the Phillies fans are having a hard time making any noise at this point. The tension is palpable. Two down in the last of the night. The Giants ahead three to two. And the two and one pitch. Here it comes outside ball three now if he were to walk in the possible tying run would be just a base hit away but also ryan howard the phillies best rbi man another left-handed batting slugger is on deck so this is a huge pitch to a very dangerous hitter three and one the count wilson reads the sign from posey here's the stretch he throws outside, not close. He walks him. And he has walked two in the inning. Now sometimes you get that sixth sense about a guy who's on you. Just by the way he stands in the box. And apparently, Brian Wilson just not comfortable throwing to Chase Utley. But it's a little bit odd because Utley has not swung the bat well in this series. And the guy stepped in the box, Ryan Howard has. Howard tonight has hit a single, struck out. He's doubled to left center and struck out again. And the Phillies are going to send in a runner for Polanco, Wilson Valdez, to give them a little more speed at second base, representing the possible tying run. So Ryan Howard, the Phillies' number one RBI man, one of the great RBI men in the game, but no RBIs for him in the league championship series. 
So there is not much room for Wilson to maneuver now. A base hit could tie it. An extra base hit could win it for the Phillies. Two down in the ninth. Two men on. Wilson ready. He throws. Swing and a miss on a high fastball. 96 miles an hour. Strike one. Well, that's this country hardball right there. Going right across the letter with, with a little movement running away from the big fella. And that's a huge strike. And that'll make Ryan Howard think a little bit. Ryan Howard, 0 for 2. He's only, it's odd that he's only had two official at-bats against Wilson. Struck out one of them. The outfield shaded a bit toward left. Wilson on top. Delivers. That fastball taken too high. One ball and one strike. Tried to climb the ladder on him. Howard out of the box as Wilson toes the pitching slab. Holding the ball back behind his right hip. Here's Howard back in the box now. Valdez at second. The possible tying run. Utley at first. Two down. Three to two Giants. The pitch on the way. Howard takes inside. Fastball about belt high, but off the corner, and it's two and one. Jason Worth, a right-handed hitter, is on deck. Now Wilson sets right beneath the chin. Looks at second. The two and one pitch. Backdoor cutter, strike two called. So now it's two and two. Brian Wilson in one of those moments that players dream about. A chance to be on the mound as his team wins the National League pennant. It's so close now. And yet the Phillies are just a base hit away from staying alive. Or even more. Here's the stretch. Here's the pitch. Very high. Fastball way up out of the zone. Well, now it's going to get the runners going. Three, two, and two outs. He had that one pitch to play with. And really, you know, he's got a base to play with. So he doesn't have to just give in to it with a right-handed hitting Jason Worth on deck. And now the crowd tries to rally the Phillies. Valdez from second. Utley from first. They'll both be running. So almost certainly now an extra base hit would win it for the Phillies. That's how tenuous is the Giants' grasp on this game. Three to two Giants, last of the ninth. Valdez at second, Utley at first, two down. Here's the stretch. Now the spin move by Wilson, swiveling around and bluffing Valdez back to the bag. Valdez with his lead from second, Utley from first. There they go. The pitch. A swing and a foul back to the screen. Fastball in on the hands. And he was on it. He was on it. Giant second baseman, Freddie Sanchez, is at least 40 feet, if not more, out into right field. He's like an extra outfielder out there. The first baseman, Aubrey Huff, is right back at the edge of the outfield grass and guarding the foul line. The runners lead, Valdez and Utley. There they go, the pitch. Strike three called! A cutter on the outside corner at the knees. The ball game is over, and the Giants have won the National League pennant. The final inning of the pennant winning game was so much like the entire 2010 season. <laughs> it wasn't easy. There were moments where you could hardly breathe. And then finally, it ends. The Giants have beaten the Phillies right here in their ballpark. This two-time defending champion of the National League. And the Phillies jumped out to a lead. The Giants came scratching and clawing their way back. And then finally, Uribe with the home run and Lincecum and Wilson, the, the bullpenners, to make that one run hold up. The celebration has begun on the infield here at Philadelphia as 46,000 stunned fans still perhaps not quite believing what they've just seen uh, look on the Giants are just delirious with with joy out there as they celebrate and the Phillies fans just can't believe their eyes as they walk very quietly toward the exits well the only way this could have been more torturous than it was is if this game would have been game seven that happened 733 is the time